What is up, beer tubers? Eric, back at you with yet another beer review. And I'm quickly approaching um, many more beer reviews than I said I would um, as I've been trying to move. And I actually just pulled out this glass to review this beer. But anyways, I'm reviewing a beer I don't believe I've reviewed. And it is a beer I truly love. It's something that I've enjoyed annually for many, many years. And it is from the Founders Library. It's their winter seasonal, Backwoods Bastard. Clocks in at 10.2% alcohol by volume. 50 IBUs. I thought that was higher last year. This is, anyways, this is a, a wee heavy Scotch ale uh, aged in bourbon barrels. Was bottled on 10.3. Um, it's one of the best, you know, 11, 12 dollar four packs you can get. Um, and I actually prefer this beer fresh, contrary to previous reviews where I've stated how much I like Founders Beer Aged. So, I'm really stoked. It just hit. And here we go. Yeah, as you can see, it's pouring that, like, deep, like, raisin-like color. Uh, deep mahogany. A lot of reflection there. Sorry about that. Uh, two fingers ahead. A lot more carbonated than I remember in prior vintages. So, but you can immediately smell the bourbon and the whiskey and the just the barrel coming off and it's interesting because what I used to like about this beer so much I think was the bourbon and the whiskey character over the fact of the like the the barrel notes that you get in other barrel aged beers that I rant and rave about coconut vanilla toffee marshmallow etc so um yeah I'm gonna get my nose into this one I'll tell you what, I would have rated it probably a 90 or higher in the past, um, at least a 93 or higher, but be interesting to what I see now with it. Anyways, yeah, there's some good alcohol eggs, but immediately I'm just getting tons and tons of fresh bourbon. There's a little bit of sweetness coming through in the nose. It's almost like dark fruit plum-like, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee, Barrel, barrel character wise, I don't, I don't get a whole lot other than just the spirit. But uh, yeah, aching to try it. It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's been a while since I've tasted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, uh, get my tongue on this one. Yeah, immediately just lots of oak, lots of like fresh empty barrel like. Fresh bourbon spirit mixed with the nice wee heavy. Uh, there are some dark fruits in there. There are some plums and some dates and some molasses. It's caramel. It, it, it's, it's what a wee heavy should be aged in bourbon barrels. Not entirely sure what the spirit barrel is. There's some people running out in my uh, backyard here. God, I'm excited to move, you guys. Excited to have a new location to film reviews in and enjoy. Anyways, um, faint hints of toffee and vanilla and marshmallow. Barrel character here is heavy on the oak. I wanted to rate it really, really high, but uh, it's not what I remember. But I got to give a shout out to Al from South Lindale Liquors for holding this one for me, being a hell of a guy. Uh, shout out to you, Al, Citizen Monroe on Instagram. Can't say enough about social media and beer. It just goes hand in hand. Anyways, I've got to say a 92 out of 100 on Backwoods Bastard 2013 Vintage. Plan on laying down at least the last two four-packs. This one's been kind of hot. Uh, poured it a lot warmer, but uh, yeah, excited to see what age does. Uh Palette's developed a lot since the last time I had this a year ago, so I think I am preferring their beers aged, and I I, I guess, yeah, <laughs> I'm running out of things to say. It's a hard beer to review. What can I say? I hope I've done a good job. I. It's kind of a perplexing beer because it there's a lot going on, and I think time will help bring out better um, aspects of this beer, and what do you guys think? A Founders Backwoods Bastard. Is it one of your favorites? Is it something you seek out? 
Is it something you trade for? Yeah, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you in the next beer review. Always remember to try to respect beer. Cheers.